Thank God that the brothers on the rise now. Endless celebrations all in my house. Yo, everybody, welcome back to Top Bins Football. Um, we're just doing a quick match review of the Southampton and Liverpool game. So let's start, boys. What, what, what are we saying? Let's actually, actually, let's just ask Aaron's view on this football game. The better so, team, the better team won. They took their early chance. They defended well. Yeah, so we just we looked very poor up front. Like Mane, I don't know what was wrong with him. Like he had enough chances in front of goal where he could have shot. It was just putting it across goal, and even then the delivery was poor. No he was. It didn't look like he wanted to be there. Yeah, exactly. Salah, very, very quiet. The quietest I've seen him in quite a long time. I know our last few games have been poor anyway, but today, like, just non-existent. Like, Firmino, again, as well. Same, like, our front three was just not there today. We haven't we haven't had that spark in us the last three games, and it's shown because we've got two draws and a, and a loss to teams we shouldn't be drawing and losing against, realistically, as, like, you know, defending champions. But, you know, yeah, just poor, poor points for Liverpool. Well done, Southampton took the chance, so fair play. Yeah, it was even fun. though, even though Liverpool were like the more attacking team in the second half, they just they just didn't want to do, win. It just didn't look up like it. it. Just looked like, well, who cares? To me. No, yeah, exactly. We didn't have that attacking flair. That no you know, passion, in them. no passion. Exactly. Exactly. They created very good opportunities, but just couldn't, just didn't do anything with it. I mean, Mane had plenty of chances to shoot, and we were shouting when we were watching it, weren't we? Saying, "Come on, just shoot!" Yeah, yeah. But just nothing, nothing. Just trying to play it, it just the all the time. Keeper. Even if even if you're at the wrong angle. You don't think you're going to score? At least test him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the keeper that the hasn't keeper played. Keeper eight hasn't played. Well. Exactly. When when was Forster's last game? Last home game was three years ago. F- three years three ago. Years. Christ. For Southampton, he was on loan at Celtic last season. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's been about a year since he's played proper football. Three years for Southampton, and no one's tested him. You had mm-hmm. one shot on target all yeah. game. Very poor. Yeah, that's. I don't know. I, I knew it was going to be a close game, but I thought Liverpool would at least. I thought Liverpool were going to get the win. Um, I'm very surprised at the result, to be honest. Yeah. I thought as soon as yeah, you yeah. came out fighting in the second half, you looked a lot better. Second half, uh, I thought something was going to happen, and maybe well, still yeah, two yeah. one. But well, you'd have known that Klopp would have drilled into him at half time, telling him it wasn't good enough, and we came out looking somewhat better for the first sort of five ten minutes, but then just nothing. Yeah. Nothing came of it. Yeah. Okay, so South- go Southampton's defence were were good. They need a shout yeah. out as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very good. Well, that'll bring us on nicely to what, what we think our top four players of the game were. So if we go all do one, yeah, and then give a reason why, and then if we are give an argument why, and then we will have to agree. If we don't agree, it won't go down the bottom. Um, well, I'll start. I'll say Henderson for Liverpool. I think getting thrown into a position you don't play in often. Um, yeah, well, he didn't do anything wrong as well. No, and I, I thought he, did well. he um, cleared the ball off the line for Val- Valerie's. Was it Valerie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he didn't. He, you can't say he was at fault for anything. And like you said, he's in a um, unnatural position there. And he, yeah, he, he can't be at fault for anything. So he, he did did the job. Yeah, yeah. He's in my I can't top really four. argue against that. He's known. He's the only Liverpool player making it into that top four, but yeah, yeah definitely. What do you reckon, Benny? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Go on, then, Benny. Uh, I'd go Bednarak. Yeah. Okay, so we're going five now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine, keep going. No, I agree. To be fair, I do agree. Yeah, no, I'm joking. I'm joking yeah. At the end, he was. Um, he, he, uh, all the like final chances, he was sliding across, putting them out for corners, and then just Liverpool won. There from corners, yeah. Got yeah no attacking or aerial threat. They're like the smallest, smallest <clears throat> players on the pitch. They're not going to score headed goals with Shakiri and Mane attacking, are they? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. What do you reckon? Um, uh, War Prowse for me. He's a big man in the middle. Well, he's not that big, but he, he, it feels like he is. Mm-hmm. He's just uh, controlling that midfield in the first half, definitely. And he got the assist, so War Prowse is in there for me. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, he's a quality yeah. player, in my opinion. Um, just his, his delivery up to the front men, second to none. Um, Tracking you know. back. 
he don't, he don't stop tracking back. Yeah, exactly. His, his work rate's uh, phenomenal. Yeah, good player. Very Banny and played well today. Yeah, got the early early assist. So yeah, yeah. And I've, um, got a shout out Carl Walker Peters as well. I think he's got to be in top four. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah. very, very, very man very of the man. Although we weren't like that attacking, like when we did go on the attack, he was always there. He was always putting challenges in, mm-hmm. like you know, always putting pressure on, which meant that we couldn't, you know, do anything. So yeah, shout out to Carl Walker Peters. To be fair, yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. And, uh, so that's the top four. Should we chuck Dings in there as well? Because he got the goal. Oh, yeah. you got to, got to give a mention, oh, Daniel. Yeah. That was a lovely, lovely finish. Great finish. You wouldn't yeah, even look at the goal finish. when he hit it. Well, because the goal doesn't move. Yeah. A good striker knows exactly where the goal is all times. Mm-hmm. Quite, you, you see quite a lot of players putting that back across the box for like someone to head it in, but no. Like, like a Mane. Like, you know, like Mane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After today's performance, yes, yes, I completely agree with that. Okay, so who are we yeah. giving? Who are we giving man of the match, boys? I'd say Carl Walker Peters. Yeah. Walker Peters, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. agree. Yeah, so I'd top five so. was Walker Peters, yeah, War Prowl, Danny Ings, Hendo, and Bednarak. Right. Yeah, right. correct. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy Walker with that. Peters, the match, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Solid nine and a half out of ten for me. Yeah, he was just always there when they were on the attack, weren't they? It was just yeah. If you can keep someone like Mane in your back pocket, well, not really, but like just give him enough trouble so then he doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keep, attempts, keep him pushed to the outside. I'm watching the stats now. Sixteen attempts, one on target. It's just not good enough. For, not good enough. It's not defending, good enough. Defending champions with our off our, our front three that we play week in week out. Like it's not as if we've lost anyone in attack. Obviously, we've not got Jota, but like our we're main front three. We're starting three. Exactly. Our main starting front three and we're getting one shot on target from 16. Not good enough. You're not supposed to be good. one of the best teams in the world and that tonight proved that you definitely weren't, especially tonight, anyway. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? It's being, you've got to be a good team to win the title, but you've got to be a great team to retain, know, it. retain the title. So yeah. it was always going to be a big test for Liverpool this season. Um, what I don't understand is how we've gone from putting seven past Palace and looking unstoppable to having three games back to back where we look piss poor. Yeah, it's just there's no spark. Just look bored. They all look bored. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the last three Liverpool games have been like b- boring. And you well, can't, Benny, and you can't you even blame on? that on injuries because you have the same, yeah. pretty much the same team out for Palace. Yeah, you know, so it's a weird one. Then he said something earlier. It was really funny. He said. They scored seven goals at Palace. That's enough for a few games. Yeah. <laughs> it almost seems like that's the attitude our players have, though. No. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks yeah. like. Is there anything going on in the back? I highly doubt it. I, I think we're quite... It looks like there's something wrong with Mane. It looks like there's an attitude issue there for me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. No one yeah. plays no as good as him should be having bad days. They should. Well, not, that's not true. They shouldn't be having as bad a days as today. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I wouldn't say there was any that were standout. Like there wasn't any standout performer for Liverpool. There wasn't a person who were like, "Yeah, they really played well." Yeah, it was and them around them. And those in our top five because he was the best of a bad bunch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But he and he didn't do anything. Even then, he didn't do anything wrong. He didn't. Yes, yeah, because he didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything great. I think the only reason that we put him in there is because he's playing in an unnatural position, but still did it fairly well. Yeah, yeah. Didn't well, not even fairly well. He just didn't do badly. You know, he, just, I mean? yeah, no, he was very in the middle, but that's good enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah Trent, was, Trent looked poor. Trent was very poor. He cost the first goal, but then after that, they, there wasn't really anything wrong after the defense. After that, so that's why Hendo's in that top four, five. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, who have you got next? Who's the next Premier League game as a? Uh, Villa, off top. Got Villa yeah, we've got Villa the FA. Yeah. Is it Wait, us? John, I'm, not, I'm, us? I'm not looking. For, yeah, it is you. It's United. United. Yeah. Villa in the FA Cup. I'm not looking forward to. What a game United Julie, Liverpool's going to be now. Like, the, the Villa game's going to go one of two ways. Either we're going to lose again on current form, 
or we're going to get a kick up the arse from our current form and go out and absolutely trounce them. But I can't see it happening, if I'm being honest. So. Yeah, the Villa team this year is looking very good. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, the Villa team have been well, one of the teams that I've thoroughly enjoyed watching playing this season. Mm -hmm. Villa, Villa's starting team looks good. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was about to say. They have no depth. There's no, no one. It's like against Chelsea, they bought on Werner and Ziyech. Villa bought on Jacob a Ramsey. Fan, imagine that, a Villa fan not knowing who they brought on. <laughs> it was someone, it was, it was club, uh, what's the word, youth, youth graduates. Uh, uh, academy. Yeah, them. <laughs> two players, two players that have never scored or assisted in the Prem are who we brought on. We said, we said something the other night, John McGinn has played every single minute of the Premier League. And he's not yeah. even class. Well, he, doesn't he, made Cam, he made Kante look awful the other night. Yeah, yeah I, I, quite like John, I quite like John McGinn, to be fair. Yeah, but you don't expect that for, for someone like that. That's why. But we can't talk about Villa again, because that'll be against the what the episode's about. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for the Liverpool United game. Yeah, who's Southampton got next, Benny? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, I you Leicester. Know They've got Leicester. They've got Leicester. Leicester. Yeah. Away. Yeah. It's a hard game. Oh, well, they should definitely take confidence from today's performance, although it wasn't like a standout. They did a job against the, you know, the the current champions. So you saw the reaction perfect. from Harsen Hootel. Yeah, exactly. That's like you know, it shows how much it means to him. Obviously, we've we've done uh, the double over him the last three seasons, um, so obviously it meant a lot to him. Mm -hmm. Finally, getting that win today. So yeah, yeah. Leicester can create uh, last year against Southampton. Oh yeah, <laughs> nine 0 I forgot yeah. about that. Nine 0 yeah. Well, anything can happen this season, by the way. Yeah, yeah. This I season. wouldn't be surprised if Fulham beat Chelsea on Friday. No. Chelsea are looking very poor. Yeah, but sir, Fulham are fucking terrible. Yeah. But, yeah, but for the it, is of play, derby, it is a derby, and mm. Fulham, do they do put up a fight. They've got to win soon and late enough, surely. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think about Lampard? Yeah, you Lampard should, you should hope so, but... What was that count? What do you think about Lampard? Oh fuck! Fraud. To get me started. Fraud, <laughs> absolute fraud. Yeah, he's. Uh... He was lucky with Derby work. last season, and so Chelsea thought he'd be a good replacement. What did you say at the beginning of that, Benny? I said he did well at Derby last season. I don't think he did. He failed as a Derby manager. You think? Yeah, he did make it to the playoffs. He did. Oh no, he didn't get promoted. Sorry, that was his main job to get promoted. Yeah, yeah. I, I think if if his performances haven't improved by sort of March time, he should uh, he should go. I think the only reason he's not he, like rumours are not flying around that he's going to go yet is because of his name, because he is yeah. Frank Lampard. They can't sack club legend. They can't. Sack and they did well last season with without being with with having a transfer embargo. Yeah. yeah, it reminds me a lot of Solskjaer, to be honest. You know, it's the same sort of situation because they give it. Solskjaer a lot of time, though. So if they give the same amount of time to Lampard, then maybe exactly that's what I'm yeah, saying. But the difference is Lampard didn't win time. ten on the row in his first game in his first. Yeah, admittedly, yes, but you've got to give managers time. You know, he's just got loads of. I don't think two hundred twenty million. The one, out, so you should be. Yeah, I was going to say. But it gives you've got to give him a bit of time to kind of settle in and. I know it's... He was, that's that's class, the one thing I'll give Lampard. They obviously bought in a hell of a lot of new players and you can't expect them all to gel as one, you know, in... All right, you can't... Look at, look at Oli, yeah? Oli was given no money and did, and he's he's come out of it all right. Very well. Mm -hmm. Lampard, I mean... given all the money in the world. Yeah, yeah, 100%, you are right. But Lampard's been given all the money in the world and it's gone like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think you should give managers time anymore. It's a modern game. You can buy anyone you want in the fucking world and especially someone like Chelsea, they did buy whoever they wanted. Yeah. 
Yeah, but um, then look what happened to Fulham and to Villa and that. Almost to Villa. The amount of money they spent and then almost getting relegated because of they bought too many players. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I but Chelsea haven't bought too many. They, but the, yeah, be, Villa, people like Villa are buying players from the Championship or that level. Chelsea are buying the best players in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they just can't handle it. Well, that Vern, Werner is a prime example of someone who's shown how how much of a different level the Premier League is. Because he'd fire on all cylinders in the Bundesliga, can't handle it in the Prem. Yeah, he, he, could, he couldn't even take a corner last night. In uh, in the Bundesliga as well, he was getting paid about a fifth of his wages that he is in the Premier League. So I think he's probably in his head like, I'm getting paid. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm on, two, I'm on 280, 290 grand a week at Werder, uh, um, Leipzig. I was on 40 grand a week. Mm. I've made my fucking money. I'm doing what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, who do we think Liverpool need to sign at centre back then? Yeah, hundred percent. Like, like I said uh, when we were watching the game, I love the likes of Upman Carno. Yeah. I think he's quality. However, I, I see we're linked to this. Um, Who did you say the other day, Benny? Botman, isn't it? Botman, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, Jan, Jan Botman. Botman. He's he's been. It's almost been confirmed. I think think that Jose Font leaked it. Yeah. See, I, I'd love to see that how that develops, like especially when Van Dyke's back, having sort of young and old, sort of well, not young and older. Sort of what Van Dyke taking him under his wing and seeing how they do have an inexperienced player, yeah, and seeing how those like he he brings he brings him on. I think that'd be quite quite interesting to see. Who's that other yeah. centre back? Is it is it Kunde or Kunte or something? Kunde, the Kunde. French one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he's looking to move as well, and I, I I remember United were looking at him, but I think Liverpool were as well. This might sound out there, though. I think they, they don't just need a centre-back. They need a centre-forward. They haven't got a natural striker. Well, when... Bobby, when, Bobby isn't an out-and-out out number nine. Yeah, when Jota's fit, I'd stick in there. I, he's not an out-and-out out number nine, though. That's that's defeating the point. You need to buy an out-and-out out number nine out-front striker. Yeah, but then who do we who, then who do we stop playing? Who do we For drop? For me, yeah. Mm. But Klopp will never drop Firmino. I know Firmino doesn't score nearly as much as what he should do, but I think he does a lot for us. You're a number nine. Your main goal is to score. That's your main job. Yeah, I, I, I agree to a certain extent, but I think that's that, that sort of been not take not taken away from him, but also in the same breath taken away from him with the amount that Salah and Mane normally score and create, etc. Like, but not 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 one of them are actual out and out strikers. No, 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 none of them are. No, no, no. I I'd keep him because keep him he can also play out on the wing. He can also play in the centre midfield. But you, you do need an out and out number nine centre forward. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, our our attack isn't normally our issue. Um, at the last three games, it's apparently been an issue, which I'm I, I still don't know the reason for that. There must be something going on. But like, our attacks normally, you know, mustered, but. I don't know. Could it be the sheer amount of games that have just been played this season and you've just not got depth due to injuries? And this new and this new twenty five man squad rule. Very well could be. Very well could be. But then again, some of the other teams like, you know, are still performing. Spurs are still performing fairly well. But they've not had as nearly as many injuries. Yeah, but they've still had as many games. That's down to coaching style from yeah, the league. So you can't you can't use you can't use um like injuries as an, uh, no, not injuries. You can't use the amount of games as an excuse when other teams are also performing. Yeah, the injuries yeah. you can you can win the injuries, but then that's your back. That's your staff issue. Mm. That's not yeah. the Premier League playing too many games issue. Like the amount of injuries you've had, especially in defence, is just it's it's unbelievable. Bear in mind, Van Dijk played pretty much every single game for us. I think it was every single game it for was. us. And didn't pick up a single injury, pretty much. And now, like half our half our defence have got injured this season. But soon um, enough, if you play enough football, one little injury turns into a massive one. Of course, of course. If you are exhausted, yeah. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Look at Thiago. How long were you told he'd be out for? Two to three weeks. Yeah, three to four weeks, I think it was, and he's only. Yeah, he was out for ten. 
Was that his first game back he tonight, should... Thiago? He, he played, played 10 played minutes the other game. Yeah. He, he, should, he should have been left out tonight, squad. Or at least sent off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a bit dodgy playing, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's always dodgy when you pick up a yellow card in the second minute of a game. Yeah. Yeah, but then change either change the way you're playing or change your fucking player. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He's lucky. He was lucky to stay still be on in the final minute. Like. Yeah. I oh, no, I can agree with that. But obviously, that, him having that early yellow card probably changed the way he was. He was able to, you know, go about playing as well, which maybe it's lack of confidence, big confidence hit if you get booked that early. Yeah. Especially if you haven't played for 10 weeks as well. Yeah. So, yeah, overall, I just think fair play Southampton took advantage of the early chance. Poor, poor performance from Liverpool. We need to we need to do something. We need to change something. The last three weeks have not been good enough. But, yeah, yeah fair play Southampton. You know, they deserve the win. And, yeah. And on to United in the Prem. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> I pick up before that. Yeah, no, that's why I said the Prem, Benny. And you've got EFL as well, don't you? You've got Watford and... Yeah. We've got, C- we got, yeah. we got City, then Watford, then Burnley, then Liverpool, all in two weeks. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I can't yeah, wait. The Burnley's the re- rearrange game from the beginning of the season. Yeah. So if we win that, can't we'll wait to, uh, Can't wait to concede a couple of penalties against you. Yeah, probably. Are we, are started. We, are we, are we Don't get me started. Are we are we playing at Anfield? Uh, I'm just looking. At Anfield, we probably won't get a pen. You will at Old Trafford. <laughs> There's no fans in the referee's corner, so that that doesn't make any uh, sense. We're playing at Anfield. Anfield. It's, it's at Anfield. Well, that gives me some sort of confidence. We haven't lost at Anfield in time. So, oh, but I can see us being the team to do it as a. I really can. It's always going to be United. It's always going to be. If anyone's going to do it, it's going to be us. It's either going to be United or Everton. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm very excited for that game. We've got yeah. three games before this and that uh, before that though. So, yeah. But if we. When was the last time you lost at Anfield? It's been fucking like three, three and a half years. years? Yeah. Three and a half seasons. Yeah. It's over. Wasn't it? It was Crystal Palace, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because we, we drew with you. Season. Was it last season we drew with you at Anfield, wasn't it? And then you beat us at Old yes. Trafford. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. April 2017. Mad. That is mad. a mad stat. Mad. That's coming up four years. That's like, you know, it, Anfield is our fortress. And that's the only, like, solace I have. I know that when we play at home, 99.9% of the time we're going to be fine. But it, we, we're going to have to lose that at some point. That we, record is going to go at some We like breaking. I think, we like I, think all home, I, think, I think all home grounds should be that for, should be a fortress for their club. Yeah. Yeah. That should be the hardest place to play someone. But for teams like mine, it's the easiest place to play, play us. <laughs> it's when Benny told us that fact the other day about Old Trafford. Like, they've never, lost, never lost after being up at half time since 1984. That is a mass. Yeah. I never knew that. And that is a, that's a fucking crazy stat. It's mental. Yeah, it's it's been yeah, that's insane. Yeah. I'm just watching that goal again. What? It's just such a nice finish it's from him. A lovely finish. Yeah, it's on my screen now. What? Well, uh, he might not be going for that now. Now I'm looking at that. <laughs> All he is, or hope, and if it doesn't go in, there's another player at the back post. Someone's going to be there to put it in. Yeah. I just don't really know what Trent was doing. It's almost like Walcott. He he tried to like he was trying to like chest the ball away. It's almost like Wall caught, caught his eye and then he took his eye off the ball for a minute and that was it. Ings was away. He like, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just let the fucking one of the best prolific strikers in the Premier League run past me. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, should we leave what? it there? Leave it there for tonight. We've had a good old chat about the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, Southampton what? one, Liverpool nil, and we'll see you for the next game. See you later, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.